Hey there crazy kids, I am the Good Old Gamer, welcome back to another Minecraft 1.8 Auto Farm video. This is a continuation of my melon and pumpkin farm. And I did include another row of pistons and redstone and repeaters. The sticky pistons are attached to this glowstone here, just for the funsies. And when this process begins for the harvesting, that happens. The dirt goes up to break off the melons and the pumpkins, and the glowstone goes out to push the melons and pumpkins over into the hoppers instead of off over in the dirt and where the stems of the plants are. Hopefully it works. I'm not really sure, but it's there and it's an addition. Um, yeah. And I just built this covering in here so you guys could still see the pistons, but you could get an idea of what you could do with the setup to make it look more like a building instead of what I did with a display sort of setup. You could hide it if you wanted to or whatever. Um... So yeah, this is basically it. Of course, you could just have this all pumpkins or all melons, or you could you could extend either side out, just continue it on for as long as you need it, or for whatever resources you have if you're playing survival. Got some melons in there, and got some pumpkins in there. I'm pretty sure the harvesting system every five minutes does not allow for a fully grown thing here. So if you wanted, you could take out the automated part. Forget this whole bit here, and then right here at the junction of the redstone, just put a block and a button or lever. And uh, you could just manually hit the button and harvest everything when everything's fully grown. That's also another option. But even if this isn't the most efficient way to harvest this, um, it is automatic, so you could go off and do other things and still collect this stuff at the same time. Same as with any of these other farms. They're probably not 100% efficient. But uh, you still get resources while you're doing other things, so you can multitask, basically. And I guess that's really about it as far as farms go. I mean, I included... Um, potatoes and carrots into the wheat farm here because it, they run under the same application so they apply the same way so you could have this a total carrot farm total potato farm total wheat farm or a mix of all three like I have and there of course is the cactus farm Mindfiend mentioned that there's so many squid in this particular cactus farm because this is a flat world um, the only water on this world is the water that I put in here for demonstration purposes because this is a creative flat world. In a survival world there'd be lakes and rivers and whatnot and the squid might not be so prominent. So just bear that in mind. Um, That is about it I suppose. I was going to see how many pigmen we've caught during this time but because I've been creating things day and night and not really paid attention to the night cycle or whatever, I've turned it to peaceful so they wouldn't be bugging me. And pigmen don't spawn on peaceful, unfortunately. But yeah. I think I've pretty much gotten every farm that I could uh, could get besides the other animals. Pig farm, sheep farm, cow farm, bunny farm, whatever. But I can't really, I don't think I can really automate those so much because chickens are the only ones that breed without actually breeding them thanks to their eggs. They automatically can breed themselves as long as you put their eggs in a, dis in a dispenser to do it. Um, and I can't really show you guys zombie farms or skeleton farms or spider farms or any of that because those require dungeons which are A, not on this world and B, I don't think I can get 
a dungeon spawner thing in here in creative, can I? It doesn't look like it. I don't think so. So yeah, I can't really show those either, but then then again, I've never really made hostile mob farms. So, I, I, other than, I guess, the pigmen, if you can think of them as hostile. <laughs> um, but you can always go check out Mindfiend. He's been commenting on all of these videos in this series of mine, so you can always check out his channel if you want to look for mob farms, because he's done quite a few of them in survival. In fact, in his latest series, I think he's done a mob farm for almost every hostile mob in the game now. Spiders, skeletons, and zombies. Or he has the potential anyway. He's found dungeons for all of them. Uh, I know he has a zombie farm for sure. As of this recording, I think he's on episode 12 or something in his series. Um, so that's it. So I guess this series is pretty much done. Unless you guys have any questions, suggestions... Um, any sort of thing you want to see me do, any ideas you might have for me to do to continue some random redstone-ish automated designs, I think this will probably conclude the series and I will begin a Let's Play series on a survival world and try to incorporate at least some of these designs. I know in my survival world I want to include a uh, automated chicken cooker of some design, probably this one or some variant of this one but I might include some of these other designs as well um, sugarcane an automated sugarcane farm I would need definitely for books and sugar for cakes and whatever else wheat farm I would only need for trading with villagers or for hay bales for horses so I'm not too sure on that, and the same goes with potatoes or carrots. I don't really need them, especially if I get a chicken cooker, my food needs are taken care of. Uh, I'll probably need a pumpkin farm for lighting, if nothing else, and melon farm is sort of optional at this point, because with the chicken cooker I don't really need the melons, but melons are also a good source of food, so... Might go with making one of those anyway. Anyways, I'll try and include some of these designs in the survival world. It, de it all depends on really on how many resources I get. Because I've never really done this sort of thing in regular survival Minecraft. I make small bases, I go caving, I go exploring. I don't... I haven't really delved into the redstone and automated farms and, and that sort of thing. Plus it's going to be slightly more difficult to do without being in creative mode where you can fly around and stuff, but that's another thing altogether. Um, anyway, yeah. I guess that's going to be a look at how creative I have been. Ooh, nice. Uh, stay tuned for more Minecraft in some form or another. Probably a Let's Play series. I think this series is concluded again unless you guys have some more things to add, more possible designs. I don't know. We will see. Anyways, I'm the Good Old Gamer, and that's it. Bye bye for now. I hope at the very least some of you guys have maybe inspired with these designs. Probably not. I'm a noob with all of this, so you guys are probably more experts than I will ever be, but still, I thought it was fun and creative. Anyways, bye. <laughs> I'm going, I swear. <laughs>